Members of the Belize Progressive Party the PPP, was... had much to say about the remarks made by Minister of Foreign Affairs yesterday. Foreign Affairs Minister Wilfred Ellington pointed out that under the People's United Party's governance of seven Belizeans, seven Belizeans were detained by Guatemalans some years ago. Will Mejia, Deputy Political Party, That should read Will Mejia, deputy of the political party BPP, says both parties have had their fair share of border mishaps. Minister, I heard him on the radio this morning. Minister Ellington was saying that it was under the PUP watch that 7 BDF was captured. And that never happened under his watch. Well, I want to remind him that under his watch, Danny Connerkey got killed on Belizean soil. So I believe that for him to look for scapegoats and to, uh, to look for um, reasons to blame the other party, instead of looking on a way in which we as Belizeans, all 300 and odd thousands of us, solve this problem and live in harmony with our neighbors. I have absolutely no dislike for my neighbors. But my neighbors have got to play by the rules. They have got to respect our borders. My neighbor who lives next to me, I like him, but he can't come in my yard and cut down what tree he wants. Mejia spoke about the trip even though the public support was not there. He said the government did a great job of scaring the Belizean public. I expect, I, I mean, like, let's be real. Um, like I have said, that if I was probably leading the ex expedition on Saturday, knowing the condition of the weather and the, what we would have faced from the weather, I probably wouldn't have gone myself. But we had people who came from Belize City, and we didn't want to say, okay, guys, weather bad, turn back. No, 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 no. I, the weather definitely had um, played a role, but um, the government did a good way of scaring people off. You know, they're experts uh, um, at that. They scared people, they scared people off. But... Um, no, I, I expect that there, next time we go, there will be more Belizeans. Mejia added that the minister is being misinformed and has no idea of what is taking place down south. There's no reason why we should not have a 24-7 presence there. And I would hope that after the base or the camp is completed, that there will be a 24-7 military presence. Um, I mean, there's so much for them to do in that area in terms of like protecting Belize and its citizens. Um, you know, again, the foreign minister has misspoken and it clearly is misinformed of what is going on at the SARS tune when he got on the radio yesterday and talked about, you know, uh, Toledo or Belizean fishermen going up the river to fish. I mean, that's ridiculous. That don't happen. Belize and fishermen don't go anywhere near the Star Stone to fish anymore. Absolutely not. So again, he's clearly misinformed. And, you know, again, I'll make a public uh, invitation to the foreign minister to take a trip with us, the BTV.